Hello, welcome to today's class. For today, I'm going to reproduce that figure you are seeing at the right hand side of the screen. That figure is an arithmetic problem. So, first thing first, my first task is to list out my parameter and to draw out my asymmetric addix. So, listing of parameter simply means I need to know out, I need to know my length, breadth, and height. Perhaps I need to draw out my asymmetric addix. Now, so my first task now is to draw my astro my, my, my asymmetric addix. To do that, I will take my set square, uh, my this square this way, draw a faint line downward this way, such that um, I will take um, this point. I will extend this point. At this point, take it down. Right. I will also take this point here too. I will extend it downward, such that I will take this point, this middle point, upward. What I just did now is what we call it isometric asics. So I haven't done, I haven't constructed my isometric asics, right? So my next task is to my next task is to um, get my length, breadth, and height. From this point to this point is my length, and it's given to be 25, 25, 25. That would that would give us um, 75, right? 75. So I'll, from this point here, I'll measure out 75 to this point. That's my length. My breadth is 50. So I'll measure out 50 from this point. It's 50. Next up, my entire height is given to be, if you can see the figure very well, I have a 12. 12 plus 25. If I add them together, I will have 37. Right? So my entire height is 37. At this point here, I'll measure out 37. To this point, 37. With this 30 points, I will produce out my box. I'll have this upward this way. I'll have this point upward this way. I'll take this, as you can see, I'll take this this way. Also, I will take this down this way with the same procedure I will extend this such that I will close it up with this such that line I extended so here is my isometric box at which that figure is being gotten from right so my next task now is that um, for me to produce that figure uh, is very very simple and um, very easy. My first task is just uh, um, start with um, from this point to this point is taken, right? So I will I will take in this point. So I won't think in this, right? Um, twenty five from this point to point twenty five. How many twenty five? As you can see, my arrow indicated twenty five. It is taken. I will take in twenty five, right? Also, from this point to this point, 25 again, I will take in it because it's taken, right? So, I have um, a middle left here. Now, my next task is that the height is going to be 12, 1.2. So, from this point to this point, I'll measure out 1.2 and I'll take in it, which is this. So, then from my set square, this way, this man, I will take this one here, up of the faint line, also this one upward with a faint line such that when i'm closing it observe i'll take it down to this point also this down to this point the thick line such that i will close this up and i'll close this up right i'll close this up also i will close this point here up I will take that same that, that same measurement downwards this way with a thick line. So I have this. I will take in this part here too. So I have done this. So I haven't done all this. My next task now is to take this inward. Also take this inward. The distance from here to here is going to be 12. That's 1.2. So I measure 1.2 on each row. 1.2 I will take in it is taken right 
also i will extend this line the way i did this one to the previous one so i'll take this point here take it down right i will close it up this way right so with that i will close this part here too up you can see what i'm doing i'll close this part here too up such that i'll take this point here extend it to this point close it up and close this one too up so we have done that our next task now is that i haven't considered all this let's take this back this point here backward right take it backward also i will take um this point here too um inward this way if you observe my dimension there is given to be 20 so as customer indicating 20 is ticking i'm ticking this point 20 so i haven't done that 20 i will take this from my um, set square this point 20 i will extend it down with the same line as you can see right so i haven't done that i will measure um listen here's the concept here i'll come to this edge point here measure 25 as you can see my row indicating so at this point here i'll measure out 25 with a thick line i haven't done that i'll take this man here take it downwards this way right it has a height of 25 too so from this point here to this point i'll measure out 25 which is this I'll close this up right so i haven't done that i will take this one too extend it down with a faint line this way um this time for me to get 20 i measure out 20 right that's my 20 so i will take this um this way the thick line close it up the thick line also finally close that upper thick line so i haven't done that um i will extend um this point here right to touch that point here at which i draw a faint line inward right so my next task now is to close this part with this also close this part with this hence i can now um, take this point together so we have successfully bring out that figure you are seeing at the right corner of the screen to be this um if you have found this class helpful do not forget to click on the subscribe button and like thank you welcome to wise link academy perhaps you can also use choose to dimension it if you dimension it you have your figure correct thanks for watching